Well, there's a decent severe weather outbreak going on right now across portions of the Midwest and uh, South. Um, this is your current uh, surface map here. Uh, this is earlier this morning. So you see you have two areas of low pressure, one that's going across Kansas, one that's across uh, the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles here. Um, and, uh, you know, it's dragging a cold front through this northern piece as that's going to move east throughout Missouri, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Then your second area of low pressure is also dragging a portion of that cold front through. And you also have the dry line, which is down uh, across central Oklahoma and Texas. The dry line, which separates the warm, moist air in the Gulf from the dry desert air further west. So you have the cold front up to the north, and then you have the dry line down to the south. And those are your two initiating factors for thunderstorms this afternoon. And man, let me tell you, some of these storms are pretty uh, dangerous. <coughs> I am still sick, so I apologize. I'm going to be sniffling and coughing through the whole video update. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry for uh, shaking the phone here. Um, all of the yellows are severe thunderstorm warnings, as you can see. And the red boxes are tornado watches that, are, that popped up throughout the day today. There's two, there's three, there's four. So four different tornado watches here. And currently right now... Area of low pressure is sitting right over here across western portions of Arkansas and Missouri. Second one is down here across uh, northern Texas and the dry line down here. So all these storms are ramping up. Just to give you a better idea, um, all the yellow is tornado watch. Look at this, this entire area from southern Illinois, western Kentucky, uh, southern Missouri, uh, Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, and then portions of central and eastern Texas here, you're all under a tornado watch. <coughs> so, uh, very active, severe weather day. And then, if you want to get to our satellite picture from AccuWeather.com here, All right, here we go. You can see here, as soon as I start to play it, notice how all of this moisture just pops up across eastern Oklahoma and uh, northeastern Texas. That's along your cold front. That's extending back across the central portion of Oklahoma and eastern Kansas here. <coughs> so you can see all, these, uh, all this yellow and green and red developing. That's a uh, line of thunderstorms developing. And then you have this big swath of moisture associated over here across the northern portions of the country here. That's associated with some um, more thunderstorms, maybe some snow on the northern end of that. Um, for these areas here where there are winter storm warnings. Uh, you have another complex of showers here across the Ohio Valley and thunderstorms that will be moving east throughout the day and weakening as it does so because less favorable dynamics across the northeast. <coughs> But this is your primary focus over here, this area, uh, Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. If you go to your colored water vapor, you can see all the yellow in the back here. That's drier air, and you can see that that's where your dry line is. It's right in the back here of this uh, area. And now you can see these greens just popping up. Those are developing thunderstorms across rapidly across eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, and then even back into southwestern Texas here, where there's another section of your cold front moving through. There's been a couple of thunderstorms popping up. There aren't tornado watches down there, but I do think there's going to be the threat of some large hail damaging winds back, into, back in here as well. So that's currently what we're looking at, and if you take a closer look at these thunderstorms now... <coughs> Uh, I guess we will start down in southwestern Texas and work our way north. So these are the storms developing with your piece of the cold front back down across southwestern Texas. So this is a severe thunderstorm warning that goes out here uh, north of Del Rio, uh, where these storms are pretty far north there. 
Um, if you take a look here, our severe thunderstorm is capable of producing quarter-sized hail, um, and it is moving to the east at 25 miles per hour. It's located 30, 13 miles west of Juno. <coughs> So as that moves east, uh, Juno better watch out for that cell, which uh, could strengthen over the next hour or two when it, uh, when it comes into more moisture over here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it strengthens a little bit. Going back into central and eastern Texas with your tornado watch here. So this is what your map looks like. All of this is a tornado watch. Dallas and Fort Worth, you are both in the tornado watch. Uh, so, keep an eye out there. Um, you got a couple of severe thunderstorms. Take a look at these cells. Alright, so, the main thing with eastern Texas, eastern Oklahoma, these cells, the main threat is going to be large, extremely large hail. Because, uh, I'll show you right now. If you take a look at your, uh, cape, again, the cape is a measure of the instability in the atmosphere coming off the surface, the uh, how quickly the air is going to rise. Take a look at where your highest cape values are. Central and eastern Texas, eastern Oklahoma, western Missouri, western Louisiana. This entire, this swath here, where you currently have storms developing, you have cape values that are exceeding 2,000 joules per kilogram. And even getting up into the 3,000 joules per kilogram range, especially across eastern Texas and southeastern Oklahoma. So your main threat when you have high values of Cape, which means that your storms are going to form vertically into the atmosphere. They're going to form upwards. So the clouds are reaching really high into the atmosphere, so your main threat would be large hail, extremely large hail. The higher the Cape, the bigger your hail is. So when you come back, to your radar, oops, I'm sorry, this is not the one we were looking at, we are looking at Dallas-Fort Worth. So, I believe this cell is capable of producing large hail in excess of three inches in diameter. That's really large hail, that's probably as big as a baseball, if not bigger. So baseball sized hail are bigger there. And then this cell again, also capable of producing large hail and some damaging winds as well. And, uh, a couple of these cells, if they get the right signature, like I, I see it a little bit here, but not too much. There's a little bit of a hook echo there, and it's really not too prevalent. But if you do start to see a hook echo in this storm, meaning you see the bottom part of it comes back out like that, and then back like that, that would be indicative of rotating winds around the updraft of the storm, and that would mean that uh, the storm is rotating, and you could have a tornado or two. So I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these dry line thunderstorms produced some tornadoes this afternoon and evening across Texas, Oklahoma, and uh, western portions of Missouri and Arkansas. Maybe even Louisiana. Okay. So again, let's just take a look at some of these warnings. Tennis ball sized hail with one cell. Quarter sized hail with another cell. <coughs> so you're going to have to watch out there. Um, this storm will continue to move east across uh, north central Texas there, so will this cell. So watch out over the next couple of hours. Uh, that Those storms will stay north of Dallas, but then you have a couple of other storms forming back here along the dry line. And I think these are going to strengthen as they move eastward into the higher um, Cape environment with more instability as well. So a couple of these storms will probably make it to Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, Wacko might pick up a storm or two. We'll have to see if these uh, storms make it that far. Uh, so just watch out for these cells back here, south and west of Dallas as well, to form into possibly severe storms as well, capable of producing significantly large hail is going to be the main threat. Damaging winds, um, perhaps as well, and the chance of a couple of tornadoes as well. Okay, so that's Texas. Then back across Oklahoma here, Take a look at this. You have basically a broken line of storms here. You have a couple of storms south and east of Tulsa. These are, these are mainly going to be capable, again, of large hail. And when you have a line of storms, typically that means they're producing damaging winds. You have straight line winds from the storm there. And because uh, you have a lot of cape, that means there's a lot of warm air being sucked up into your updraft of the thunderstorm. 
the warm air infection, we call it. it the, the core of the storm sucks up the warm air. And then when that warm air falls back down, it's called a downdraft. It, fa it uh, falls quickly as cooler air. And that's what we call outflow. And when you can actually see that sometimes what forms an outflow boundary will form from the downdraft of a line of thunderstorms. And you can see there's an outflow boundary here. Um, this is not really precipitation. It's just a boundary of outflow from this line of storms here. And that typically shows, uh, you know, there could be some gusty winds and uh, cooler temperatures where you have an outflow boundary moving through. Um, that's indicative of strong downdrafts in the thunderstorm. So I think these storms are going to be capable of producing uh, strong winds, uh, damaging winds on the back end as well. Some uh, That's what we call like a microburst. When you have a strong downdraft, it causes a microburst. Uh, causes a microburst. Uh, when the air hits the ground and it spreads out in a circle, it radiates out. Uh, that would that could create some wind damage as well. Um, and then another thing, when you have an outflow boundary like this and it heads into more favorable dynamics for thunderstorm development, typically you'll get thunderstorms to redevelop along this boundary. So I might be looking for that over the next hour or two as well. <clears throat> Right, if you move a little uh, further to the east here, take a better look at it on the Tulsa radar, see these storms here. Um, I'm starting to see a little bit of a signature with this storm on the southeastern side. Uh, you see how the red kind of curves around like that? That's kind of a weak hook echo. But, you know, I think there's just a little bit of rotation in there. Uh, same thing here, you can see a little bit, there's a little bit of a hook echo, the precipitation comes, it's going to the southwest and it just comes south of all, all of a sudden. Um, if it starts to come around even more, like it looks like it's wrapping around something, that would be, that's what we call a hook echo, and that is indicative of rotation around the updraft of the storm, which means that, although it, it could it could also indicate a tornado formation, but at the same time it really just indicates uh, rotation within the uh, thunderstorm. So, again, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, half dollar sized hail, half do 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, I showed you that there's outflow coming out, so strong downdraft winds will be a threat. Tennis ball sized hail, tennis ball sized hail, and a quarter sized hail. But <coughs> so, again, large hail seems to be the main threat across Texas and Oklahoma. Now, as you head back, further east into Missouri here, you have a different area of severe storms developing. Um, waiting for this radar to load. This red box over here is a tornado warning. So we do have a tornado warning out currently on this cell here. And you can kind of see the, the, um, the signature. You have, you see how the red, it just, it's going west and then all of a sudden it comes south and you see how this area of red here, it kind of it kind of wraps around. It kind of looks like it's wrapping around something. Well, that's what we call a hook echo, and that's what indicates to me that there's strong rotation within the updraft of this supercell thunderstorm. And when you have strong rotation in the updraft, that's when you would have a tornado form. So, uh, this is clear to me that there's a tornado with this. I really think there's either a funnel cloud forming or soon there will be a tornado on the ground with this uh... let's see they, they're saying uh... tornado and golf ball sized hail radar indicated rotation this is for west central miller and northwestern camden counties in missouri so watch out there again by the time i post this video on youtube it'll probably be gone but uh... maybe it'll be further east um... if you look at the radar here i would say it'll go further east across missouri towards Osage Beach, so watch out there over the next hour or two. And then south of Jefferson City, all these areas here in these eastern counties have to watch out as well for these storms to move further east. And you have a couple more cells back in here. Not as strong a signature. This has a lot of a much more defined hook echo to watch out for some more rotation with this supercell here. There's another one up here. And then the other thing, these storms are producing a lot of heavy rain, so there's going to be flash flooding as well. Okay, so watch out for that. And uh, more storms are going to be moving in as this cold front comes through. All right, next video, we'll talk more about this.